you here to see Dr. Debro? So let's be very clear. We are not fixing their relationship with plastic surgery. But Kathleen has had a significant change in her breasts. She's very self-conscious about it. It affects their intimacy life. So before Chris and Kathleen fly home for the rest of the seven weeks, I want to give them the opportunity to have a cosmetic makeover with one of the best practitioners in the business. When we last discussed this, we talked about the possibility of making some changes to the breast area. The size is perfect. I don't want them any bigger. Just lift it up. OK. Yeah. So let's take a look. OK. Yeah, you know, I totally see what you're talking about. You actually have lost mm -hmm. primarily all of your upper fullness, haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. So that's the thing that's bothering you. All right. Based on her concerns and her physical exam, she's actually a very good candidate for plastic surgery. And I understand how it's affected her self-confidence. I'm doing this 100% for me. I just feel so insecure. I just don't want to be touched. So I think that this is going to be something that's going to help me. and further on, help us. So I'm all in if you're all in. I'm all in. You're sure, for sure? For sure. OK. Chris's struggles with feeling strong in his body also apply to his looks. One place to start is his smile. Hi, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Come on in. Chris is insecure about his teeth, so we're getting him veneers. And in my building down the hall is a world-class cosmetic dentist, Dr. Farnoosh, who's really going to help him. Your smile is how you show all your emotion. Sure. It's a really important step to getting you and your self-confidence back. The three S's of breast surgery are size, shape, and symmetry. So that's a lot of skin. The droopier you are, the more skin you have to remove. That's pretty good shape, yeah? Mm -hmm. We finished the breasts. Breasts look great. We got good symmetry. The shape is really good. I think we can put the dressing on, get her in recovery. The rest is up to her. Here we go. Look at that. Nice big smile. Wow. You yeah, look great. Nice Yay. Yeah. Love it. Thank you, guys. Okay. There we go. Is that good? Comfortable? Yep. Perfect. I'm so lucky to have this opportunity, and I can't wait to see the results. It's week two of this experiment, and Chris and Kathleen are flying back home. At the airport, about to head back to Fishkill. We've helped them with their physical issues, but in order to make this work, they have to remain separated to improve themselves emotionally. I'm just getting settled into the, my hotel room in Fishkill, and Kathleen's been at home with Christopher at the house. Um, How are you feeling? Um, you know, I've been, Chris and I have been separated, and that's been like the best thing ever, to be honest. I'm happier now than I, I mean, just not having to deal with him, like, stressing me out all the time. He's been like cold and short with me. I feel just so free not having anybody harassing me or hounding me all the time. I am enjoying the space that I have and getting away from the hustle and bustle of being at home all the time. I'm um, just relaxing, getting a little face mask, a little relaxation. No one's here to bother me. It's very quiet. 